Hi, I'm Oliver from Road Ready, and thank you for being a part of the Road Ready family. This is our installation series, where we will walk through, step by step, how to install our hardware on your trailer so that your fleet can get the most of everything that Road Ready has to offer. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Light Out Detection System, also known as LODS. It takes most technicians around 25 to 45 minutes to complete this installation. The game plan for today is to show you how to mount the nose box to the front plate, wire into the ABS ECU harness, route wiring, connect into the nose box, complete a system learn. Before you begin, make sure you have the following items on hand so you can complete the installation. You might want to take a moment and capture an image of this screen with your smartphone. It may come in handy when you perform this yourself. The LODS will replace the existing nose box mounted at the front of the trailer between the glad hands. You may find it necessary to move one or both glad hands to make space for the larger LODS nose box. Use the four 5 16 inch carriage bolts supplied to mount the nose box onto the front plate. Use your 5 16 inch nuts and your ratchet to secure the nose box into place. Pull the trailer's main cable through the hole in the rear of the LODS box. Also pull the trailer's marker harness through the hole in the rear of the LODS box. Use a 3 8 inch deep well socket and ratchet or driver if necessary to remove the nylon hex nut and first steel caps nut from the blue stud on the left hand side of the box. Store these in a safe place. They'll be reinstalled in a subsequent step. An important note. Following the completion of step 5, only one steel caps nut should remain. Use the 3 8 inch deep well socket and ratchet or driver if necessary to remove the steel caps nut from the blue 2 stud on the right hand side of the box. Store these in a safe place. They'll be reinstalled in a subsequent step. Following the completion of step 6, only one nylon sleeve and one nylon hex nut should remain. Connect harness 83213-0600 to the male end of the ABS ECU harness. Route harness 83213-0600 to the front of the trailer ABS. Once all trailer and auxiliary harnessing is in the LODS box, secure the harness with the provided wire clamp. Be sure to make sure the main harness jacketing goes through the grommet as shown in the image. Connect the red, yellow, brown, green, black, and white wires from the main harness, as well as any additional lighting harnesses, to the corresponding studs on the left-hand side of the box. Secure the ring terminals to each stud using a number 10-32 caps nut. Connect the blue wire from the main harness and the blue wire or wires from any additional auxiliary harnesses, for example, ABS power harness 83213-0600 to the blue 2 stud on the right hand side of the box. Keep in mind, when routing the blue wire to the blue 2 stud, be sure to route the wire behind the toggle switch wires. Connect one terminal of the overmolded inductor to the blue stud on the left hand side of the box. Secure the ring terminal with the number 10-32 caps nut and black nylon nut previously removed in step 5. Connect the other terminal of the overmolded inductor to the blue 2 stud on the right hand side of the box. Secure the stack up of ring terminal with the number 10-32 caps nut and black nylon nut previously removed in step 6. Connect all remaining terminals from the non-lighting harnesses to the corresponding studs on the right hand side of the box. Secure terminals on each stud with a number 10-32 caps nut. Use the cable tie to secure the overmolded inductor to the LODS box in the lower right hand corner. Be sure to run a cable tie through the left hole of the right side wire grommet, around the overmolded inductor and out of the right hole of the right side wire grommet. Pull the cable tie tight to secure the overmolded inductor. Apply dielectric compound supplied in your kit onto each terminal connection and use a brush to spread the dielectric compound. Connect a battery located in the faceplate to the nose box. 
Apply dielectric compound to the seven pin receptacle and all surrounding studs on the right hand side of the nose box. Mount the gasket and faceplate to the nose box. Make sure all wires are secure inside the box. Be sure to check for any pinched wires around the outside perimeter of the box and the J560 socket interface. Use four half inch nuts and your driver or ratchet to secure the faceplate into place. Install the J560 socket by lining up the seven pins with the seven pin receptacle located inside the nose box and applying force. Use two half inch nuts and your ratchet or driver to secure the J560 socket into place. Apply auxiliary power to the trailer. Let's review the steps to complete a system learn. For this task, constant blue line power is required. Plug in the power cord, wait for the blue light to illuminate and go out. This could take up to 90 seconds. Next, visually verify all lighting circuits are working properly. Then turn all lighting circuits off. Now it's time to conduct a learn. Toggle the switch twice, once quickly, and then hold on the second pull to initiate learn mode. The blue light will be solid during the learn process. When the blue light goes out, release the switch. Plug the power cord back in and watch the blue light on LODS come on and then go off. Complete a circuit status check. Pull and hold the switch to confirm a good learn. The blue light should not flash any fault codes. If the blue light flashes a fault, check the faulting light circuit and then reconduct the learn and walk around processes. If the blue light does not flash any fault codes, the LODS learn is complete. Unplug the power cord. During the learn mode sequence, the module will activate all your trailer's lighting functions. And just like that, your hardware installation is complete and your company will now be able to stay even further in front of potential issues in your fleet. Now it's your turn to do this installation for yourself. Should you need anything else, our Road Ready customer success team is here for you. Just call us at 877-537-3820 or contact the team through our website at rrtelematics.com. Thanks for your time. And on behalf of the entire team, we appreciate you choosing Road Ready for your fleet monitoring solutions.